Hello, it's Ruby, and today I'm going to be doing a video all about gift giving. If we look at the John Lewis advert, obviously they're very cheesy, but they are amazing. The really cool thing is that every gift that they give means something, and the message surrounding these adverts isn't go out and buy this particular product, but rather give a gift which is meaningful and I really do think that that's what gift giving should come down to at Christmas. But I wanted to give you some tips, some ideas for sentimental gifts that you could give this Christmas. Things that are meaningful, things that someone could really like. Okay, I'm going to start with six main tips on organising and planning your meaningful gift giving. So tip number one is to keep track of things during the year. So it, on my phone, I just have a notes page where if someone mentions something, let's say that we're in Waterstones and they say, oh, I've always wanted to read this book, or they, they mention in passing what their favourite film is, they say, I really need some new flip-flops. I don't know, just something which is said in passing and they don't expect you to remember. And you write it down in your phone, doesn't matter what month it is, you just keep track of it. And then when it comes to December, if you can't think of something, you've already got all of these ideas written down of what you know about this person. This is actually such a nice thing to do because when they open it up and you go, oh, do you remember that one time you mentioned this? Second thing leads on from that, I actually use templates for my closest family members and friends for the gifts that I buy them. Basically, it's got things like favourite colour, favourite flower, favourite book, favourite TV show, favourite band, favourite genre of music. It kind of just keeps all of this information about them on this one page and like as they mention it in passing you just jot it down. It's this nice like spy task where you end up with this basically like this folio of stuff about this person, like the things that they like. And this means that when you want to go find them a Christmas gift you can find something which is meaningful and which again like pays attention to something that you know that they like. Tip number three inv um, involves wrapping your presents. I like to use photos as my cards. I'll do this in one of two ways. As a gift card to show who this present is for, you could print up a Polaroid photo of you and the person, and then you could use this as a gift tag and put it on the present, and it just looks really aesthetic. And it's really nice because then they can keep the gift tag. Alternately, when it comes to cards, birthday and Christmas cards, I like to do big orders of free prints photos because I think it's the cheapest way to print photos. I use that as the card so on the back I will write down um, like their birthday message, this long message about like why their friendship means something to me and it's just a nice sentimental thing to have. Also it's actually probably cheaper than Christmas cards. Tip number four is involving platforms so I use two different things to plan Christmas gift shopping. I got a Christmas planner from Kath Kidston which I've used for the last three years um, but I also like to use Giftster. So it's made to be a birthday or Christmas list that you can make yourself and then give to other people. But I like to use it as a way to store gift ideas for people. So I have lists. I've got one for my parents, one for my sister, one for my friends, one for my extended family. As I find gifts, as I find things that I think they might like, I put them in that folder so I don't forget about them. Because sometimes you'll find something in August that you think they'll really like. Okay, and now we're going on to the meaningful gift guide ideas. One of your favourite books. A book by someone they admire. Something released by one of their favourite influencers or celebrities. This is a slightly stranger one, but maybe something, depending on their age, if they're quite young, maybe something that is advertised quite a lot through YouTube and Instagram. Is it Gloss Glossier? Glossier? That's advertised quite a lot online on Instagram and on YouTube. It's probably the kind of thing that, like, 14, 15 year old has seen quite a lot. Um, it can be a nice surprise. It's kind of preempting the fact that they wanted it without them even saying it. That's a bit more speculative. Looking on Etsy for book art of their favourite book. So British book reader is really good. Six, you could go for a big box of someone's favourite sweets. I remember being really touched when for my 12th birthday, my friend Katie got me this huge box of my favourite sweets. You could get them a themed box of things from their favourite movie or TV show or book. I actually did a little princess version of this, an example, on my channel three years ago. You could book tickets for them and you to go and see something that they'd like. So for example, for my dad's birthday this year, I got him and me tickets to go and see E.T. with the Live Symphony Orchestra at the Royal Albert Hall because this was a film that he really liked. Some kind of quirky vintage item because these are one of a kind things. Pay attention to an issue they frequently have and then see if you can solve it. So for example, if they're always complaining that their phone is running out of charge, you could buy them a portable charger. They hate it when restaurants have like plastic cutlery. So you buy them a reusable cutlery travel set, that kind of thing, you know, just paying attention. 
Think John Lewis Christmas advert for the perfect gift. If they're conscious of the environment, you could get them something like the reusable cling film or reusable cotton buds or metal straws. You could also make them a photo album or you could give them a photo and a photo frame of you both. Also free prints again. I did this for my mum for her birthday last year. I was it? I printed off 100 photos from her Facebook haul that she posted because my mum uses Facebook all the time and so it was like a highlight of her year in Facebook photos. And you don't have to do things which cost any money either. So you could put together a short video for them, you could write them a song, you could write them a poem, get them a notebook and on the first page write this really lovely long note to them. Um, there are so many things that you can do, you can be so creative and it's just that sentiment behind things which can be really nice. It's like showing them that you see them. And lastly something they'd never buy themselves which is obviously very vague because often a lot of the gift sets which they sell are things that they wouldn't buy themselves but there are some things which are kind of maybe a bit too pricey for them to justify spending it on themselves so for example so my sister and dad both like playing vinyl the records can be expensive depending on where you buy them especially if you're buying something new and it's the kind of thing that people don't really buy themselves because it is quite expensive so that could be quite a good gift there we go, there are my sentimental, meaningful gift ideas. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video, I hope it was helpful, and I hope that you have a productive week.